Hello, and welcome to another production from the technology training team. Today, you will learn more about Google Classroom, specifically how to accept an invitation as a co-teacher in Google Classroom, understanding the Google Classroom layout, how to post an assignment in Google Classroom, and finally, how to view work that students submitted. Let's begin. To accept an invitation to Google Classroom as a co-teacher, the teacher or someone else with access to the teacher's class must send you an invitation. Then check your email to receive the invitation. You will simply click join. A second way to accept an invitation as a co-teacher to Google Classroom is once you navigate to Google Classroom, you're able to see any invitations that you need to respond to. Simply click accept. Once you click accept, you're automatically joined to Google Classroom as a co-teacher. As a co-teacher in Google Classroom, you have nearly the same rights as the main teacher of a classroom. With that in mind, it's very important not to delete or make changes to any existing content in a teacher's class. As we look around, the first tab is called the stream. The stream tab shows any announcements or posts from the teacher or the students depending on how the teacher has the classroom set up. Tab two is classwork. Under the classwork tab, you are able to see how the teacher has the classroom organized. This is also where any assignments are posted for students. The third tab is called the people tab. On the people tab, you're able to see the main teacher, as well as the co-teacher. You're also able to see all students who have joined the class. You'll notice that some students have a guardian's name added to their name as well. The fourth and final tab in Classroom is the Grades tab. The Grades tab shows all assignments that have been entered into a teacher's classroom and allows the teacher to grade work that has been submitted. If teachers have left substitute plans in their Google Classroom, posting an assignment for students is simple. Return to the Classwork tab, and on the Classwork tab, you may see a category called Subplans, or you may see an assignment that lets you know that there are subplans that are left. Notice on this classwork tab, there are some that are slightly grayed out and others that are dark. The ones that are dark have been posted for students already. However, the ones that are grayed out are actually saved as drafts. So to post a draft assignment, Simply click on the particular assignment, edit question, and ask in the case of a question. In some cases, a grayed out or draft assignment could say instead to assign. Once you select ask or assign, the assignment is posted in Classroom in the way that the teacher has left it. You may view students' work in a few ways, either by looking at the student's name or by seeing all the work submitted in a class. First, we'll take a look at By Student. Select the People tab and select the name of the student whose work you'd like to view you will automatically see a list of all the assignments provided to the student throughout the year. On the left of the screen, you can look for the work that the student has turned in, 
returned, or missing. Notice you also see the status messages to the right. To see a specific assignment, simply click the name of the assignment and view details. A second way to see students' work is by selecting Grades. From the Grades tab, you're able to see all the students as well as every assignment for the student's class. You may select on the title of an assignment to see work submitted. On the left-hand side of this screen, I'm able to see which students have turned in work and which students have work that is missing. In some cases, students submitted work might have an attachment. If that's the case, you can actually click to view the attached work submitted by that student. And that's it. This has been another production from the technology training team. Thanks for watching.